Hello. So the plan for today it is wet, it is wild, it's, there's gale force winds. Uh, so what I'm going to do is head down to the local coast and see if we can catch any big waves. High tide is about 24 at the moment, it's only half past 3 so I've got about 20 minutes to get there and hopefully get some really good shots. And I'll be doing a lot of videoing in terms of actually running about the water because it's wild and I've not got a big enough tripod for the GoPro to stop it from flying into the sea. So we'll head down there and we'll see if we can get any decent shots of the weather. <laughs> So not quite at the location yet, um, but I'm going to give you an idea as to just how, how, how high the tide is. Um, also looking out in the sea there, there's a ferry, looks as if it's heading towards Dunoon and it's stopped exactly where it is. It's not moved now for about five minutes. So I'll let you see the tide and then we'll go and we'll head further along the road and see if we get any decent waves. So now the location where we're taking the pictures, uh, there's good news and bad news. Good news is there are loads and loads of waves, in fact it's seriously choppy out there so I'm going to really have to watch what I'm doing. Uh, the bad news is I'm probably going to get absolutely soaked here. Uh, but we'll give it a go, hope for the best and try and keep all the camera, oh big wave, I'll try and keep all the camera gear dry at the same time. So uh, wish me luck. in behind uh, public toilets just to try and get a picture. The spray was just covering the lens constantly and wet enough as it is. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Part of me really want to go and take a selfie and stand and try and get a, a wave behind me but probably a bit risky. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so we're going to stand here for another couple of minutes, see if we get any more big waves. Sunset's not long from now and there's a wee bit of colour in the sky so we'll see how that goes and maybe go somewhere else. Uh, but at the moment we'll hang around for a couple of big waves and then waves wash up it starts to slowly disappear back into the sea so I'm just gonna stick on a couple of seconds long exposure here just to see if I can get that nice trail of water. Um, I probably had the best opportunity there behind me but obviously I've had you know, we'll hang about for another couple of minutes and see if I can get it.
doing quite well. Um, looking forward to seeing it. Um, as you can see behind me, the waves are fair, still washing over. We're trying to keep it off the floor and then we'll off the ground. And it's absolutely Baltic. So after yesterday's video and getting absolutely soaked with the waves, I've decided to keep it along the theme of water. Uh, so today I'm going to head down to Fairley, just in North Ayrshire, and there's a beautiful big waterfall down there called Big Lee's Waterfall. I've never been before, I've seen a few um, descriptions of it online, a couple of pictures, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, so I'm going to take a pop down there today and see what we get. One of the waterfalls called Big Lee's Waterfall. Um, there's actually another one just further up the stream which I went and had a wee look at. Um, I'm absolutely bogging from head to toe, everything's just so soft and falling away from you. Um, we'll try and make it a point up there. I'm here with my old man as well, um, so he's down there taking a couple of shots and trying to get some of the smaller waterfalls in as well as the big one. Um, so we're going to hang about for a wee bit, maybe go up to the top one and see, depends how dirty we get. Um, we'll see how it goes. Just saw the video of the waterfalls and you saw the images. Uh, we've got some really nice images, so we're really happy with them. The reason I'm finishing this off, it's actually the next day. The reason being is because we had a bit of a, an accident on the way back. Um, my old man had decided when we were heading back up the steep embankment that he would take the high route and the soil slipped away from him. He tried to catch his balance and went head first straight into the burn. Camera bag over the top of the head, it was floating in the water. How he never hurt himself, I don't know. Um, <laughs> He had a cut in his finger and a bruise in his shin, but it really was a really was quite a bad one to watch. It was a bad fall. However, he's fine. And on the way back down the road, I gave him a jacket and stuff, and it was absolutely pelting it down. So I actually ended up more wet than what he did. So it's a lesson learned for both of us. Just be careful when you're out playing about in waterfalls. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, then subscribe. And hope that you watch some more. So thank you very much, and we'll see you all later.